All right, time for some Throwback Thursday Vegas edition. JC has more in this week's Sin City Chronicles. It's time for this week's Sin City Chronicles, a weekly look back at Vegas history and happenings. Mandalay Bay opened on March 2nd, 1999. Festivities included a parade of 200 motorcycles with Dan Aykroyd, John Goodman, and Jim Belushi of the Blues Brothers being the Grand Marshals. And Bob Dylan performed at the House of Blues. Some interesting facts. The original name of the property was going to be the Paradise Hotel, and Pavarotti opened the resort's event center. And Pavarotti also was the first classical act to perform at the Thomas and Mac, and that was on March 3rd, 1985. Now, March 2009, the M Resort opened. 4,000 invited guests filled the casino and watched fireworks and a fire and water show by the pool. NASCAR is at the Speedway this weekend. Jeff Gordon will be in the booth calling. In the action, but it was 20 years ago on March 4th, 2001, that Gordon won the big race at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Dean Martin debuted his solo show at the Sands on March 6, 1957. Look at these photos. His show only went 38 minutes, but it was a hit. Martin was signed to a five year deal and was paid $25,000 a week. And after the show, Martin would often head to the casino floor to deal blackjack. I'm not sure if that would actually fly today. And finally, if you grew up in Las Vegas, you probably at some point went to Disney on Ice. March 1st, 1984, the first ice show was held at the Thomas and Mac. It was called Walt Disney's World on Ice, Ice Odyssey. And that's your Sin City Chronicles for the first week of March.